Welcome back. This is section four or five. We're going to find determinants of matrices. Whenever we find determinant, uh, up to this point, the symbols I've used look like this. A with the little like they're square brackets. When we find determinants, it looks like absolute value signs. Okay. All right, and the way we find the determinant for two by two, this one's pretty straightforward. We multiply it diagonally, subtract the other diagonal. So my first example, easy enough, negative two times eight, minus five times six. 16 minus 40, negative 56. That's the determinant. This is called the second order determinant. Basically, you find a determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Uh, one thing to note, you can only find determinants of square matrices. A determinant, a ma I'm sorry, a matrix must be square in order to find a determinant. All right, let's do a third order. Determinant. So we're going to find a determinant of a three by three matrix. There are two techniques to find determinants of higher than two. Well, this is going to be fun. One is called expansion by minors. This is attempt number three. <laughs> Uh, the first technique we're looking at to find a determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix is expansion by minors. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to choose a column or a row, and we're going to take one number out of each. I still can't explain it. All right, so I'm just going to do it. All right, so here we go, two. So I'm going to choose this column to expand. Expand around. So it's two, and what you're going to do is taking using ah, blah 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 you're going to cross out the column and row that that number is in the two is here and I get, I'm left with a two by two matrix and what we're going to do is find that determinant so it's two times the determinant of the matrix that's left minus and this minus is actually separate from this negative one and I'm going to explain where that minus sign comes from later so if I take out the negative 1, I'm going to have 7, negative 3, 9, 0 as my remaining matrix. 7, negative 3, 9, 0. Plus, now I'm going to take, I'm going to use the 6. And then the determinant form there is 7, negative 3, 5, negative 4. All right. Now it's pretty easy to find this determinant. 5 times 0, I'll just go on. 5 times 0, minus 9 times negative 4. I'm going to go ahead at minus negative plus, whatever this is, 7 times 0, minus 9 times negative 3, plus, I'm running out of space, 6 times negative 28 plus 15, right? It was minus a negative 15. Sorry, I was running out of space, so I just did that part of my head. Okay, so this becomes two times positive 36 plus 27. Uh, what's that? Plus six times negative 13, 72, 27, negative 78 and that gives me positive 21 yes that's a lot of work sorry uh, 3 by 3 matrix determinant uh, it is very easy to make sign errors so you want to be careful with that all right let me explain why this is a minus and this is a plus with expansion by minors you have to know this pattern
I don't know where that comes from, but that's what they use. Okay, so the reason why the first one is positive is because of that. And negative 1, we, we put a minus there, is because of this one. And 6 plus. Ugh, I know that I'm explaining this poorly. Um, so you don't have to complain about it. I know I'm doing a bad job. However, uh, if I were to expand on 759, let's write that out here. Okay, if I were to expand on 759, negative 7, negative because of this negative, with the determinant, negative 1, negative 4, 6, 0. Plus the 5, and what's going to be left? See how hard it is to explain that one? 2, negative 3, 6, 0. Minus 9 with a, der uh, with a determinant of 2, negative 1, negative 3, negative 4. 2, negative 1, negative 3, negative 4. I know I'm not very consistent in which way I read these determinants. Hopefully you can follow along. Let's see if we get the same answer. This is going to be uh, positive 24. Remember, it's going to be 0 minus a negative 24. This is going to be plus 18. This is going to be negative 8 minus 3. So that's negative 11. What's that? Uh, 7 minus 4, 28, 2, 14, negative 168, 40, 90, plus 99. So that's what? 1. 89 minus 168 and it's 21 Woo. okay we got the same answer expanding on a different set of minors okay all right let's do a different example Okay, I'm doing one more example of expansion by minors. I suggest that you pause the video, work this out yourself, and then compare my answer to yours. Uh, I tell you what, I'm, in fact, let's agree to expand on the same minors. I want to expand on 816. So go ahead and do it that way. All right, pause it now. Here we go. So if I expand on 816, it's going to cross out those, and I got 5, 4, negative 2, 3. Minus 1 times, it's going to be negative 9, 0, negative 2, 3, plus 6, and that's negative 9, 0, 5, 4. Okay, that's going to be 15 plus 8, which is 23, minus 1 times, uh, that 0 is going to cancel that column out, so it's just negative 27, plus 6, same thing happens again, the 0 times 5 gets canceled out, so it's just negative 36. Uh, 8 times 23 is 184 that's going to be a plus 27 and that's negative 216 211 minus 216 and we have negative 5 sorry I mumble sometimes uh, hopefully I'm only mumbling when it's like just tedious work and not when I'm trying to explain anything. Okay, that's example three. The final answer is negative five.